It's time to review Titus O'Neil in Basic Series 44. My first Titus O'Neil figure, and I'm certain it's going to be my last. So let's take a closer look at the packaging. There's Titus. He's like, why did it take you so long to buy me? Um, a big player in the WWE. There he is all happy that I finally bought him on the back. He's about ready to reach down and punch Seth Rollins in the face, apparently. Speaking of which, here the rest in the line. So let's get this guy out of the packaging. And here is Tyrus O'Neil out of the packaging. It's a, a good basic. So let's take a closer look at this basic. Here's his bald head and face. He's got his goatee. Smiling. Here's his tattoo. I can't tell what that is, but it's there. Come down to his red trunks. It's got like a police badge on his dick with two swords sticking in it. Could you imagine if a police officer came up to you and he was like this? Yo, I'm a police officer. You don't want to see my gun. I will show you my badge. Come down to his legs. Black knee pads, black boots, and on the back, it's got his logo, which looks like a seal or a dog doing that pose. It's too bad. This guy should be higher up, maybe upper mid card, but at least he's back with Darren Young, who I don't have a figure of, as the primetime players. Let's pretend Daniel Bryan is Darren Young. They can do the millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions of dollars. But that's it for my review of Tyrus O'Neil. But stay tuned, guys, very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I will see you later. <gasps>